Hello, everybody. Hello. Where are we? We are standing in front of number 12, Grimwald Place. Why does that matter? Because we are at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I'm a wizard? Well, TBD. And today we're hoping to show you, because it is a busy kind of holiday weekend here at Universal, yes. we're going to show you all the things you can do in the two sides of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, what to do when you don't ride rides and you still want to have a fun day in the worlds of Harry Potter at Universal. We are in line right now to ride the night bus. I'm really excited. I hear there's a very special character to interact with. Let's go find out. Hey, this is Ed. Ed, nice to see you. Ed, don't be rude. Shake my hand. Uh, it was a test. You passed. Uh, <laughs> 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 I see you're a Hogwarts alumni, Ed. Yes, of course. That's great. Well, Ravenclaw. Um, ah, Ravenclaw. Ooh, a Ravenclaw. Heads above the rest. Heads That's above the rest. We're <laughs> proud of you for getting outside the library today. Yes. That, well, once in a while. What's more? Looks like a ball and bounces all around. I don't know. My head! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, man. High five! How are we gonna I'm so sorry. Yeah, another, uh, every, another every time. time. Every single time. <laughs> One thing to keep in mind when you are coming to the Wizarding World is even though Universal Studios app does have mobile ordering, the restaurants in the two lands are not included. So you will have to wait in line. Line moves fast, but we're going to go eat at the Leaky Cauldron right now. Join us. sat down at Leaky Cauldron and our lunch just got served to us. Today Ed's having fish and chips which is a battered cod with tartar sauce and fries. I decided to get the mini pie combination. It comes with two small pies, the first one being a cottage pie and the other one being a fisherman's pie. For a drink I started off with the Wizard's Brew which is the darkest beer that they have at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I really enjoy this beer and Jason chose the frozen butter beer. This is our first time trying the frozen, so I hope he enjoys it. Something that Ed and I both didn't know is that the Leaky Cauldron also serves breakfast if you happen to be here at Diagon Alley in the morning. So good thing to know that there's always options to eat here at all times of the day. One thing that we've learned spending our times in the parks is sometimes things don't go as expected. When we started the video, we were excited to show you guys what you can do park hopping between the two different lands of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and that is something really cool. But one thing we didn't expect, and something that is unusual, the wait time for the Hogwarts Express is 80 minutes. Again, not something usual, but something that's going to change our plans today. Instead of heading over between the two different lands, we're just going to spend our time in Diagon Alley here, finding out all the fun and cool details. Keep in mind though that a benefit of a park hopping pass is you can use the Hogwarts Express 
to travel between Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios. Again, we're on the Universal Studios side now at Diagon Alley. So right when you walk into Diagon Alley, you're gonna see in the Weasley's Joke Shop. There's so much fun stuff in there. You really wanna walk around and take your time and just look at it. A lot of things you've seen in the jokes throughout the books and the movies, you're gonna find right in this store. So definitely take time to look at some of them before you rush through. My favorite spots in all of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is Nocturne Alley. It's super creepy in there. It feels magical. I love it. If you're a Harry Potter fan, there's nothing like coming in and actually picking out your robe, you can pick out your wand, you can grab all your school books. Anything you can really do in the movies or the books, you can essentially do here, because there's even the opportunity to cast some spells. I love coming in. getting ready to go into Ollivanders for wand sorting. The wand learns from the wizard, and the wizard from the wand. One of the fun things you can do here at Diagon Alley is head over to Ollivanders to see a wand choose a wizard, and we did just that. And now we get the pleasure of going out into the shop and having a wand choose us. We just finished over at Ollivander's and there are a lot of wands in there and some really cool magic if you do the show. In Ollivander's there are two different types of wands. There's interactive and non-interactive. The interactive wands are gonna let you do a lot of spells all over Diagon Alley and on the other side over by Hogwarts. Whereas the non-interactive wands are gonna be more of the characters that you're familiar with. There's any character you can think of has a non-interactive wand and those are priced at $46 whereas the interactive wands are priced at $52. I personally have an interactive wand at home. I love it. I go around and kind of cast spells when I'm here. It's really fun to interact with the entire land so to me that was worth it. So 
So we'll definitely come back and just have a day of me being a nerd and casting spells.